Hello and welcome back to the Call of Duty World Championship. Myself, Rel and Maven guiding you through the best of five series here in the double elimination bracket between Vex Revenge and Rise Nation. Now, um, as I said before, I think I said it was Search and Destroy coming up. Of course, the way that these maps are played, it goes Domination, Search and Destroy, Blitz, Domination, Search and Destroy. So, Domination is going to be the next game type yep. and it is going to be free. Yeah, and uh, we've seen, you know, we stayed right before the break, uh, Rise Nation has looked phenomenal on Domination. They haven't dropped any, at least that I've been a part of uh, casting their games. Uh, just a a quick update though if you've been tuning in fan of rise nation or vex revenge you've been on our stream um we just heard from some loud screaming mm -hmm. uh, it appears that optic was able to 3 tk which i think is a surprise for many coming off their 0-3 result versus epsilon so that is a huge start to bracket play for optic and uh, for you one billion optic fans out there something to be excited about yeah i mean it's nothing to uh, to discredit optic there in the fact that we were surprised but we just thought tk would perform a little bit better i guess well i mean they were the higher seed they've performed better at recent events I mean, that's just the fact of the matter but pulling out a 3-0 there from optic is just an incredible performance but hopping into our domination here, uh, just the early going, uh, about a minute into the game, uh, just a basically a tie game. 15-14 now, uh, lead for Vex Revenge, and now we're back to a tie. So this is going to be a tight one. Well, this is it. I mean, the first uh, domination we saw, just to recap, the first side went to Vex Revenge by 8 points, but then the second side went to Rise Nation by 23. So Rise Nation took a while to settle into the game. Yeah, big kill there by Slumber, though. That's two down now. For Rise Nation, uh, they're going to try and hop this B cap and see if they can get it. We do have a player mid for them that's going to be able to try and stop it, but he is taken out. And look at the members of Rise just flooding that right side. Uh, they do give up B. We'll see if they make a play and try to wrap around for C or what, what's going to be the decision here. I don't know. I mean, I, we can see that A and B, uh, sorry, C and B are currently into uh, the Vex Revenge control. Uh, I'm going to get on board with it. Yeah, yeah, Wheats did wrap around. the whole way back yeah. around, which is, I thought, the play he was going to make. Now we're going to see if he's trying to clear stuff out. He's at least going to work for a neutralization here shortly, I would assume. Uh, as the game right now, uh, Vex Revenge up two, just under three minutes to go. He's got a pretty clear spot to take C. I don't think the member will be able to get there to stop the neutralization. He is not. But they're going to get it right back after that big kill. That was huge. There we go. So here we go on board with Fizz. Now, A is in their control. I'm not sure why he was uh, th throwing that grenade back at Looney. I think there was another player actually back there, but Looney did clean it up. Fizz picking up kills there just outside of red now, and they're just trying to get control of the map. This is a really important point on uh, Domination Freight, this uh, bottom red area. Yeah, and uh, it looks like they are able to neutralize go. B if they can pick up that one kill there at B, which they're working on now. Oh. Uh, and he cleans up both. Yep. He managed to take out both of them. But, but they did lose it, though. But that did. was taken over by Rise Nation, so that is huge. Um, as they were down a couple of points, let's see if they can get it together and lock this down for any extent of time. Okay, well, we're watching Mech now, who's going to have to signal that he's coming from underground by opening that doorway. He makes the push. Nobody has actually spotted him just yet. And he's got a, a good... Opportunity to uh, make a kill here, but he does get shut down on the stairs. Yeah, and that's a big kill for them because him wrapping around underneath like that, if he was able to get set up in white, that would have been a big, big problem for Rise Nation. So huge kill there from them. Slumber we see hopping on C. They don't even have a home flag right now. Uh, the score, what was a five-point lead for them, has completely flopped now as they are down five points going into the last 90 seconds. Oh, well, this is it. I mean, as soon as you get control of all three flags, you just see those points racking up and up in your team's favor, and there's just nothing that the other team can do about they're finally looking like they're going to take control of Charlie, though. Yeah, and uh, as we've said several times now, Rise Nation has looked so strong in this tournament in domination. It took them a little while to get rolling here in this game, uh, but as they did, they are now up 15 seconds. Wheat's on a little bit of a tear here. He's going to be pushing wow. back. Oh, nice, nice second kill there. He's rotating back towards B to help out his squad. Yeah, I mean, all four of Vex Revenge just got shut down completely there with a minute left on the first side of this domination. It's looking great here for Rise Nation. Yeah, and Wheats, you know, coming off that huge game, uh, you know, I'm sure he was in the ear of his teammates, and we've seen everyone step it oh. up. As they have Wheats 12 and 8, Fierce 12 and 6, uh, with a ton of caps amongst the team, and they're up 20 seconds here with 45 to go. And he manages to make the kill on Bravo, but it does go into the hands of the enemy. Looney with a two piece, and he's going to make the push on the B flag. Well, he would have had a chance at a three or a four piece, but that smoke makes it a little bit trickier. Uh, let's see if he is able to take this. He's got the neutralization. Wow. It looks like he is, and that was just all too easy for Looney there and the members of Rise Nation. Yeah, I've got to say, Vex Revenge slipped up a bit. I mean, I know they were being suppressed back at that home spawn, but he single-handedly captured that all by himself. 
Yeah, and we're down to the final 15 seconds. Uh, up, it looks like 21 or so. This should finish out around around 25. If they're able to three cap here, well, the neutralization's huge too, though. That just gives them a couple mm -hmm. extra point lead. And going into this second side, you know, I've talked with you, I've talked with Brycey. Uh, you know, we kind of think that that 20 point mark is where it becomes a bit of an uphill battle to really try and win that second half. And they're up, what was it, 24, 24. I believe. Yeah, yep. so that's going to be tough. Yeah, that's going to be very, very difficult indeed. Uh, I mean, the previous domination as we said uh, you know the first side went to Vex Revenge by eight points and then the second side to Rise Nation by 23 but a 24 point lead on freight domination I don't know if Vex Revenge have it in them to bring this back yeah because you think with that big of a lead if if they get out to any kind of a hot start and that I'm talking about Rise Nation um, there's gonna have to be a point in the game where we're gonna we're gonna see some frantic play from Vex Revenge trying to work a three cap mm -hmm. and it is so difficult for even the best team in the world let's say you know I guess we talk complexity at this point they've won basically every event over the past year. Um, even for them to hold a three cap, it's just hard. You get spread so thin. It's so difficult. The communication becomes a just fluster because everyone's just sprinting around trying to make yep. plays that are difficult. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very difficult indeed, but not impossible. I mean, we saw Rise Nation hold on to a three cap for a brief period to turn the momentum in their favor, and Vex Revenge could do the same. They're going to have to if they want to win this, I think. Yeah, no, they're gonna, they're really gonna have to, and they, they have to off the break. They need a strong start. Mm -hmm. I think it was the first side of that. They had a three down. I think at the beginning of the game, a two or three down. It just it let Rise Nation get a little bit of momentum. I mean, they didn't pull away until about halfway through that, or really towards the end. Yeah. But uh, you know, we've seen that out of them and a lot of these top American squads starting out slow but finishing incredibly strong. Well, here we go. It is going to be the second half now of Domination. Just remember there is a 20-point, uh, sorry, 24-point difference in favor of Rise Nation. We could see them just playing that Bravo flag neutral. I mean, if one team's holding one flag, one team's holding another, and nobody's secured the third, yep. then it's just going to work in their favor as time goes by. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I believe we have the game syncing up now. Players will be loading in, and we'll be able to bring you this second half. But we're really just going to need to see the absolute best play out of Vex Revenge to, to try and continue this series on to a Game 5. And you, if you are just hopping in with us, this is the second side of Game 4 domination. Uh, Rise does currently lead the best of five, two to one. So if they win this final game, Rise Nation is going to move on in the winner's bracket. I'm sorry, the upper bracket. Mm -hmm. And we'll have uh, uh, Vex Revenge will be dropping down to the lower bracket in this uh, top 16 bracket play. Yep. Uh, so I want to watch Vex Revenge to begin with. Is there any particular player that, the, you know, you think is going to be Well, you know, we've been talking about Slumber, how he's kind of their respawn slayer. So let's get eyes on with him and see if he can get something rolling for his team. Okay. Well, here we go. I mean, at his first MLG event, he did play 17th. We know uh, he's a top caliber player. That was MLG Columbus 2013. Been playing Call of Duty for a long time. Right back to Call of Duty 4 and he needs to bring that wealth of experience to the table here. Yeah, and that's exactly like you said, in a position like this where you're, you know, in position to lose the series, you experience really plays a huge part. Yeah, you've got to keep a cool head because even though they're down, they don't want to get uh, too frantic here. They need to hold on to the home flag and they are losing it. It's been neutralized. Oh, and that is, uh, yeah, that's not at all what you want. And I think they have someone on B2. They're about to get three capped oh, here to boy. start this. And uh, if you could pick any scenario in which you do not want to begin <laughs> a series when you're down 24 yeah. points, it is leading with a three cap. Yeah, this is bad, bad news now. And the only way they're going to be able to change things here is if they can answer oh. back with a three cap. Oh, and there's a two piece from Wheats. Is he going to pick up the third back by C? Oh, well, he just delayed and continued that three cap for so long by picking up two, pushing back through Lumber to try and take back C. And this is just, it's 20 to 5 already. Oh, yeah. They're I up mean, 39 points. I mean, this start might have just blown Vex Revenge off the map. Yeah, this is absolute carnage. Now, we're finally seeing one of the flags go in control of Vex Revenge, but they're still under heavy pressure with a huge point deficit. Oh, uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do this. This could be the end of the road, and they could be going down to that lower yeah, bucket. Yeah, no, that, that was legitimately the... Oh, great wow. shots there by Pac-Man. But that's three down now uh, for Vex Revenge, and that is just the last start. Like, you couldn't pick anything that you no. do not want to happen going into this second half. It just could not have gone worse for them. And, you know, credit goes to Rise Nation for that just fantastic start. Yep, here we go. We're seeing Pac-Man turning up now. Uh, he was struggling at first. He only just got his first kill after roughly a minute, but we've just seen him pick up roughly four there. Um, actually, three back-to-back. -back. Now, well, there's the, to get the ball. There we Fifth go. Fifth just ran behind him. Let's see if he gets this. Oh, oh he does. I don't know what sense he used there. He heard something. There was a call out, or he I, that was phenomenal. He just belly flopped and was able to pick up that fifth kill. And I think it's slowly dawning on Vex Revenge that this game may be out of their control. 
Yeah, I mean, they're up 30 now, plus the 24. Yeah, they're not coming back from 54. That's just too much to ask, I think, of any team. Let's see what Looney is going to do here, just applying that constant pressure and making sure that it is indefinitely going to be their victory. And, uh, yeah, on board with Fears, he picked up one. Had a chance to pick up two, but they knew right where he was coming from due to his previous kill. Uh, Looney's going to try and push up and help out at B. He's going to have a guy to his right, guy in front of him, and that's just a tough battle for him to win there. I'm watching Skill now, seeing if he can do something here. He's struggling so far on this side. Bottom leaderboard for his team. Does get the grenade kill, but gets shut down. And uh, uh, Mech not able to pick up that one. We have two down currently uh, for Vex Revenge. All about to be up for Rise Nation. I take that back as go. Pac Man is shut down by Demon, which will give oh. them. Oh, I take it back. No opportunity for A as a grenade flies in and takes him out. I was going to say, this is the most important play of the game. If they can actually get A and hold on to that C flag, they will be dominating. And I think if they could hold it for the remaining time in this game, they might have been able to do something, but they've just lost C control. Yeah, they would have to have the three cap and a three Three cap for a minute 40 is just, I think, too much to ask of anyone. Uh, so, unfortunately, for Vex Gaming, I think this is going to end up being a 3-1 result. You know, obviously, we'll stay on board and see if they're able to pull a rabbit out the hat. But uh, I, I, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's, it's really out of their control here. But they are playing this through. They're seeing it right down to the end and uh, playing for the pride. They want to narrow that point difference as much as physically possible. Demon here trying to pick up the kill against Looney, but unable to do so. Yeah, and uh, this is a great start for Rise Nation. You know, they're basically going to be one win away after this from hitting that top six money. And uh, next series, you know, we'll have to take a look at the bracket and mm -hmm. see who their next matchup is going to be. But, you know, after hearing TK 3 0 by uh, Optic, you know, there's just some crazy matches going on in the background as we have four different streams running this for you guys all day. All right, well, Fizz does now make the capture there on that C flag. And, uh, I mean, you know what, I'm going to ask, well, I think this game is, is kind of uh, kind of done roughly about now. Who do you think is going to actually win this tournament? Ah, uh, you know, I... I'm putting I've, you on the spot. I've picked Complexity from the beginning. I just think consistently they've been the top team. Uh, really, you know, from what I saw watching the VODs from regionals, one of the big reasons that SB was able to take that was that aggressive four-sub play with steady aim that a lot of teams weren't doing. And now that everyone is starting to transition at the top, uh, they're ready for them. Oh. As we saw Optic giving them incredible games mm -hmm. at the Optic land. So... I'm sticking with complexity. I really just think they have the most composure, most talent, most experience, and just the most winningest team. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? I, w I would agree with you there. Um, I actually put a European team, uh, you know, creeping possibly into that top three with TCM. But I thought TK, I'll be honest, I thought TK would be advancing uh, in the upper bracket straight away, but they've been knocked down early. Yeah, you certainly do. And that's, that's one thing that... You know, it, it, it was a bad thing for, you would say, for Optic to have to face a team like TK that early on the bracket. But looking at the other side, you know, if you're TK, you don't really want to be playing another American team like Optic also in round one. And, you know, I, I haven't got a chance to see the games. I can't wait to watch them and see what went down. But we'll, we'll be filled on that later. But, you know, with our current series here, it's Rise over. Nation, 3-1, to one, pretty yep. convincing win. Uh, they're going to knock... Vex Revenge down to the lower bracket. We'll find out who their opponent is going to be next. I'm not entirely sure who we're bringing you next on Delta Stream, but we are going to have games going for the next several hours. Oh, yeah, so do stay tuned for that. And uh, a massive shout there to Weez. 22 to 13 was his kill-to-death ratio in that second half of the domination. And as you say, it's going to be a 3-1 to one victory, and the Americans will advance in that upper bracket. And uh, I would say now, just stay tuned on all of these streams. Yeah. If you want to check out some of the others, go ahead and feel free. But we've certainly enjoyed that series, and we will catch you guys later today.